Welcome. We are pleased to welcome Ben Peters today. Uh, ben is Managing Director and Portfolio Manager of Evenload. Uh, Evenload was founded in 2009 and already manages about $8 billion. Uh, you offer two funds in Germany, the Global Opportunities and the Global Dividend Fund. What are the key features? Yes, that's right. We've been uh, around since 2009. And but all of the strategies, we also manage a UK uh, dividend strategy in the UK. Uh, but all of our strategies are really based around um, some basic principles, uh, some economic principles to do with investing in businesses. So we're very much business first investors, long only equity investors. Uh, and we focus on companies that can uh, generate ample cash flow. So ca cash flow that can be used to reinvest in the business, uh, to develop the business into the future, but also particularly for our dividend strategy to pay a growing dividend distribution to our unit holders through time. And if we can do that and find those sorts of companies, um, we think that good total returns should result to, to our investors through time. You said dividend growth is uh, one of the key, uh, most important uh, aims of the fund. How does it work? Yeah, well, uh, dividend growth really uh, only comes sustainably for us from uh, good business performance. So we're investing in businesses, we can find these businesses in different sectors. So uh, we have, for example, information technology businesses, uh, consumer goods businesses, business services, um, whichever the, the sector is, uh, the, the company needs to be uh, in a good market position so that they can maximize its, its opportunities as a business, develop its offerings to clients. And if we can do that and find those businesses that, that, that can invest in themselves, that can generate excess cash, uh, then that can come back as, as a growing dividend through time. But it's really only that fundamental business performance that's going to drive that growth uh, in the fullness of time. What are the most important uh, performance drivers today? Uh, as we stand here today, I mean, the long-term drivers, I think, are, are unchanged and have always been that steady business performance. So um, if you look at, uh, at the market, though, things do change rather more quickly and sometimes uh, the market gets excited uh, about lots of different things. At the moment, uh, artificial intelligence is very popular. Also, oil and gas because of what's been happening uh, to energy prices uh, uh, in recent years. So there are short-term things that, that, that happen in markets that can lead to uh, companies trading at uh, more expensive valuations and sometimes at cheaper valuations. And actually, as part of our investment process, we do value companies and we manage valuation risk as part of the process as well. So. Uh, dividends and dividend growth, very important for our dividend strategy. Uh, for the opportunity strategy, uh, we don't mind dividends. So we're more dividend agnostic because uh, it's really the, the looking for businesses that are going to grow through time and they should grow distributions as well. But we're, we're really looking to the longer term picture for companies. So whether something is in fashion or out of fashion the, in the market at the current time, we can take advantage of that uh, from a valuation perspective. Uh, but the first thing that we look for is these businesses that can grow sustainably through time. Uh, how do you manage the, the, the risk in general? Um, so we look at risk, um, we do look at valuation risks, as I say, but business fundamental risks. So companies that can um, generate good cash flows, they often generate high returns on the, the capital that's invested within them. So our risk management really is, is based around looking at, at things that might derail that return on capital. So things that might make it decline. So that might be uh, a deteriorating competitive position, for example, um, disruptive technology that comes along uh, and, and, and displaces an incumbent company, uh, for example. Uh, it could be risks to do with financial structures, so weak balance sheets can be a, a source of risk as well. So we look at a number of different business risks uh, for companies that we analyze on our client's behalf. And taking those, those risks in the round, that informs our portfolio positioning uh, and maximum position sizing. You arrived from the UK with your electric car here in Hamburg. Yes. How important is sustainability for your fund management? Well, we've always viewed um, sustainability, um, ESG um, considerations as part of a sensible investment approach. So, you know, if a, if a company is facing a, a, an environmental risk, either because it impacts on the environment or it uses natural resources, then we should know that as part of a, as part of a sensible investment approach. So, uh, so it's, it's very important as in we are managing those risks alongside the, the business risks I've described. Um, and uh, we think that in integrating that into our analysis 
uh, and also uh, helping companies to understand um, uh, what we think about about their their efforts, whether it's to do with uh, net zero or whether it's to do with the uh, biodiversity or whatever it is, these important things. Um, we we want to help companies to understand how we f we think about it, how our investors think about it, but also we will obviously want to understand companies' strategies to deal with these big picture issues, which affects everybody ultimately. Uh, even Lotus employee owned, and what are the main advantages? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we are employee owned, so the controlling uh, shareholding of the business, 100% of the voting shares are owned by an employee ownership trust for the benefit of the employees. And um, there are a, a few uh, reasons for that. I mean, the first is that people who join even though there's a business, uh, who come and work with us, uh, our colleagues uh, all get a slice of the action. Uh, so there's a sort of a financial incentive. Um, but, but actually, I think much more importantly, um, the, the, own, the employee ownership trust is a, is a long-term home for the business. And you know, we think that the best thing we can do for our clients is execute our investment strategy consistently over the long term. Because I do believe uh, firmly that equity investing should be a, a long-term endeavor. You know, we should be looking at investing over uh, many years. And actually, we hope to be investing over many generations to come, in fact. Um, and you know, the, the employee ownership trust structure enables us to focus on executing that strategy consistently through time without any institutional imperative to do something else. Uh, because managing an act active equity strategy as we do, um, sometimes the strategy will outperform, clearly. Sometimes it will underperform. We, can, we can't get away from that. Um, and what we wanted to make sure is that in those times, whether it's good times or uh, relatively weaker times, that we're continuing to execute our investment approach um, with with uh, precision, uh, with consistency, uh, and uh, continue to do that through time, and also improve through time. And uh, there's a very, very, very clearly a continuous improvement mindset that we have at Evenlo because everybody is incentivized essentially to do a good job for our clients. Because only if we do a good job for our clients will we have a successful business. So that's very, that's very much the cultural aspect, which is 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 very, very important, as well as de-emphasizing the idea of building even though investment up to sell it to somebody else you know that's very much not the idea you know we want to be independent and uh, do do our job really well for our clients you, you started the even load foundation uh, three years ago but uh, what is the goal yeah so the even though foundation uh, was formalized three years ago and really it brought together uh, two things we've been doing for for a number of years um, it's the place where we do our charitable giving from, so it's funded with 20% um, of our net profit each year. Uh, it goes to the foundation. Uh, there are local and international causes that we support, um, local to our, our home in, in West Oxfordshire in the UK, so we're not based in the, in the city of London, we're uh, out in the, in the Cotswolds, uh, in the countryside in the UK. Uh, so we do support people around us, but also we invest in um, early stage businesses uh, where they have um, a product or service which is looking to solve some societal need, so a positive impact um, uh, product or service. Um, and that we started doing because we thought it would be interesting. This is with our own capital, this is not with mm -hmm. client capital. Uh, and indeed, it has been a, a very interesting thing to be doing. Um, but we've found that actually there's, a, there, there's also useful learnings that we get from that endeavor that we can take to our client portfolios. So we're looking at new technologies, um, uh, new business model development, uh, you know, that sort of thing. And, and seeing emerging themes in the world of startups actually is quite helpful for looking at listed companies as well. So there is some interesting crossover there as well. And um, the last question, I've seen your heraldic animal is an otter. And I think it has something to do with the name of your company, please. Uh, <laughs> it does. Tell the drum. So um, uh, the Evenload is a river that runs through West Oxfordshire, which is where our, uh, our office is. And it's actually a tributary of the Thames. So it runs into the Thames near Oxford. So um, uh, the river Evenload is known for its otters. Uh, I've been sent pictures from people, from clients uh, who have seen otters on the, uh, on, on the river Evenload. And really, it speaks to our environment where um, we do, clearly, we, we are around the country and indeed around the world seeing companies. Uh, we are visiting clients. We are away doing our work. Uh, but when we come, come together uh, at the Evenode Investment Office, it's very much in our own environment where we have good, active discussions um, within, the, with, within the construct of our investment process. And we're, we you know, can independently think and think, uh, think differently, I think. And uh, I think that, that culturally, there's, a, there, there's something very nice uh, about being in that environment. And, 
and our, our, our otter that we call Eddie is, uh, <laughs> is the manifestation of that uh, in, in, in our artwork. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ben. And thank you for your time. Bye.